Hello everyone, this is Amber from Chamak USA. Today I want to show you how to make henna cones by using our DIY kit. This kit comes with 100 grams of natural henna powder, all chemical free, eucalyptus oil 30 ml, sugar 30 grams, some cones and cello sheets. So let's dig in how to make these cone at home by using this kit. So you need 100 grams of henna powder. This is the same one we are using here. And I'm going to use the sugar. It comes with the pack. I'm going to use the eucalyptus oil that the kit has. This is 100% pure, all natural. The only thing you need at home is lemon juice. I have almost 100 milliliter of lemon juice and I'm going to use this lemon juice to make a thick paste. You can use half first to see if it's more or less. So maybe I use right now 80 milliliter. So after mixing, you take your time and mix. It should look like this, a thick mesh potato. And do not worry about the lumps because after we're gonna check after 10 to 12 hours, that's when the dye releases. I'm gonna put it in the oven for 10 hours and I will check and then I might put for two more hours. And make sure do not turn on the oven. So we want to keep it in a warm, dry place. If you have something warm, dry place in the garage or somewhere, but it's cold these days, so I'm gonna put it in the oven without turning it on. And we will check after 10 hours. So just cover it with a cello and I'm gonna check it later. All right guys, so it's been 12 hours and now we have to check for the dye release. Dye release means that it's ready, our henna is ready to consume. Okay, so you see the color? The color is different from under and then up is different. It means the dye has been released and now we are ready to put some water and make it to uh, the consistency the, the way we want. So I have, you can see the colors, so how beautiful they completely change. The upper layer is darker than the down layer. All right, so what we're gonna do now, I measured around 150 ml of water, but we're gonna add slowly. We don't wanna make it too thin, so it's very hard to uh, handle later. I'm gonna add maybe half, and then I wanna see if it's, good enough so I just switched to the whisk I think it's more easier usually I use my blender um, but you can use for a smaller batch whisk is good enough if you guys have a hand mixer with the whisk you can use that carefully All right, everyone. So after some time, uh, it should look like this. I used almost 110 ml of water. Uh, please try to add little by little because if it gets too thin, it will be really hard to keep it on because the design will spread and then, then there are more things to do. So this is the way I wanted it. You can see the layers. Um, I added 110 ml again and then I started on 75. So try to add 75 and then go up to 100 and see. Uh, it should be on the this side, not not thinner than that. So I think we are ready, and now we're gonna uh, sift it through the nylon, so the lumps will go away. So the next step, this is a piping bag included in the kit, and also the sifter. This is a nylon. We need an anything. You can take a tall glass, a jar, anything with this kind of lit mouth, and it's almost nine inches tall. You can take this first, and put it here. This is a very interesting part. Now take your nylon and drop in there. So we're gonna pour, gonna pour slowly. Oh, 
All right, so if you have any gloves, just wear it for the safer side. So you take this up and this together. Just make sure it's secure. Pull tightly and twist, twist the plastic. Now you have to hold it like strongly and try to sift. So the all without lumps, clean, clear thing is out and we have this nylon here. Okay, now we have this bag. You can use any clip or a rubber band. I'm going to use a rubber band to tie it up. So I'm going to just really tightly. This is ready. Now either you can cone, make cones right away or you can freeze it as is and you can take it out whenever you want to make cones. Next step is how to fill the cones with this. So now we have to cut it. Do not cut too big. This is good. I make 25 grams of cone but you can make whatever size you need. So we are, I think this is. If it's more or less, so usually I go and measure that like that. 28 grams, it works for me. I'm gonna actually do a few so you can see how I do it. Again, I'm gonna just put in there and just, so I press here and here as well. Measure it. 25 grams. I press it down all the way and now this is the time to put the pin inside otherwise the henna will come out usually what I do I take one tape and close it like this and I will go like this is good take a tape tape is going to be your best friend use good quality tape put additional tape there is a seam you can see so I just put it here to secure it so this is it I'm gonna do one more so you can see one more time so now I'm gonna press this henna down so it comes all the way and we're gonna pin it pin it so the henna won't come out take a tape this is how I, I just close right here and then you can fold it like this one time like this you have to there is no proper way or one way you can see which which way works for you this is the way i do it but you can do either way you have to make sure that you are closing it really well and use good quality tape again um go one time this way secure and I put it right here and here. If you want to put more tape, that's fine, just to, to make it secure. But it's pretty secure right now. I'm gonna put one more tape here in the seam. This is the sticker I put usually right here. So we are ready to roll some henna cones. My kit comes with eight pre-rolled cones and eight cello wraps. So I want to show you how I roll my cones using uh, our pre-cut cello sheets. So you need to start rolling about two inches, leave two inches here and start rolling it. You can hold it from one, put one thumb here and start rolling towards you. So this side goes towards you and you have to practice if you are new and you will get there. And just I'm rolling like this, just twisting my hand 
and make this area very pointy now this point because this is very pointy and it's close all the way I want to make some room here make it a little bit loose so my pin can go inside so I'm making it loose now the pin is actually gonna go inside like this and I'm gonna hold the pin and then I'm gonna go back to twisting again so I'm twisting my way and then just rolling it and making and also stretching it upward so as I said I like pointy cones so I'm gonna make it really sharp and here you leave this much so this is like an inch left one inch tape I'm gonna put halfway here it's halfway there and halfway so now I'm gonna twist it so it's gonna stick to the cone and it will be really secured tip so you can see the pin is there and you can insert it back this is the way I roll cone that's and other I'm gonna roll another cone so you can see yes yeah, so I'm trying I'm, I'm gonna roll one more so you can see how I did it again so about two inches that way and then I'm gonna twist towards my side and I'm gonna hold take my thumb and hold it here and I'm gonna twist it twist it twist it and and you see if you're twisting there's a hole that's fine and we need to keep that hole I'm gonna insert the pin here inserting the pin and make it tight I'm gonna hold the pin as well and put my thumb here and I'm rolling again alright so make sure the pin is tight tight enough it should not fall out from the thing so I'm making it secure and making sure making sure that it's inside it's a little bit loose right now so I'm gonna pull it up so the pin is inserted and I am going I, I feel it's a little bit loose I'm gonna pull the plastic towards me upside and then make it tight so now I feel it it's pretty tight and if it's not you pull on the plastic towards like that now check yeah it's pretty tight and this much is left so I'm gonna put the tape take the tape and put the tape halfway like this you can try a couple of times and see which one suits you best this is the way I do it and I like it but whatever the right way is your way all right so you see even I'm doing this the pin is not coming out so this is the pointy tip it's really easy and cool to make designs and I'm gonna put another um, tape usually I do it when I fill the cones as well but I just want to show you if you want to do it right now you can do it so the cone is pretty secure I'm back. I want to show you the cones we make how does it work and how is the consistency of this cone uh, this is a stencil by the way I used and this is the color uh, this is coming out you can take some out if it's I want to make you, show you some lines. Isn't it amazing? Also, some draw. I think that's pretty much it we are done with the cone so you can put the pin back and you can keep this cone in the freezer up to six months uh, this is all natural um, henna 
so the color gets darker after 24 hours it you will not get right uh, the instant result but the result will be and the color is going to be really dark this is the color and it's going to get darker i did it yesterday but i'm hoping it's going to get darker by tomorrow i hope you like this video and if you have any question about our diy kit please make sure to um, contact us or inbox us we will be happy to reply